Welcome to Speed Superbikes. Here today uh, we have an absolutely stunning looking Motor Guzzi V12 Sport. Uh, this one is a 2000, a very late 2009 bike. It's uh, I think it's November 2009. Um, only got just over 11,600 miles on the clock. Um, three owners from new. We do have the original service book. Uh, it has only got a couple of stamps in there, but the bike has you know, been well looked after. Uh, spare key just recently gone through a new MOT, so MOT is right the way through to 2025. And I say uh, we do have that service book. Um, so very nice clean bike all round. Obviously, you've got the additional uh, little fly screen on there on the front. Uh, it has got the engine bars on there as well, which look pretty much unmarked. And again, I'll, I'll do a complete walk around, but I say initially you can see the exhaust, everything very, very nice, clean bike does have the additional seat cowl on the back as well so i will start from the front and work around so i said the addition of the uh, little fly screen on there headlight all nice all good no uh, major little no stone chips or anything like that so the paint on the front mud guard all very good no major stone chips anything at all really uh, i said the mot as well so literally just gone through an mot not a single advisory so you know we know the bike is all good i can see the forks and everything all good the front st fork staunchions all good say all the paint on the wheels which I believe is original is all very good as well I say up the front of the engine on the cylinders none of the sometimes obviously on the the, uh, the opposed V twins you can get a bit of crud up the front of the engine and stuff this is all very good tiny little bit of pickling on the uh, on the casing there but again for a bike of this age uh, you've got to expect something obviously um, a little bit of rub there on the back obviously where footrests are but say that's what you'd expect paint on the tank is all very good now these are the plastic tanks so of course they can get a little bit of vapor coming through can get the odd blister on the tank i think there may be one on the other side i'll have a look at that in a moment for you again Finish on the shaft drive, pretty much spot on. Again on the wheels, very, very good. Even right in into the bottom of the bike, you see the, the, the shock. That I think, again, I'll check, that actually does look like a nice row of shock, a replacement one, because it almost looks too good to, uh, to be original. Check paint work on the back, all good, on the lights, all good. Seat again, lovely condition, no rips, no tears, no nothing. Obviously, you've got the GPR sports can on there as well, so it does sound very nice. And ah, there you go, look at that. So, nitro remote adjuster there, so that has had a replacement shock, and as you can see, looks pretty much like new. So, I don't think that was done that long ago. Little charger lead on the side as well, and again, looking at the, the exhaust, I say stainless on the way down, and obviously, then going into carbon or carbon look. Pipes all good on this side. Um, yeah, right, so there you go. Little bubble on the top of the tank there. And I think there is a more sizable bubble underneath. Uh, but I say they tend to, you know, the, the vapor comes through eventually on a plastic tank, it'll never leak, but the vapor can come through and then pull up the paint, which is what's happened on there. Quite a common problem. The Triumph Tigers, early pet, uh, plastic tank ones do the same, the Ducatas do the same. Comprehensive dash on here, so obviously you've got your normal speedo, rev counter, fuel gauge, and then obviously your digital dash. Obviously starting from cold, bike sounds really nice and sweet. Um, obviously full details of the bike are on our website. 
uh, speedthrills.co.uk. Uh, you can call for further information on Exeter 01392 211 246. And uh, hopefully if you found the video useful, please feel free to give us a like and hopefully subscribe. Thanks again for watching.